Hello everyone. Today we want to uh, see something a new topic so that uh, this helps everyone to understand. So the, today's topic is about you know I think this is going to help you all the beginners that who wants to get into SAP you know uh, you know platform. So today I want to explain about how you should write your first SAP professional CV you know here actually long back I have mentioned a lot of points on my website but today I would like to share uh, uh, this uh, you know uh, some tips for you so that uh, you know first time you know all the first time SAP users or all the consultants I'm sure that this may give you some idea while you are going to prepare your resume okay so now the first thing is, uh, you know, the first tip that you need to uh, specify in your resume that try to mention with your personal uh, statement or summary, you know, so something about your job opening or something about what is special about you, you know, for example, you have uh, uh, learned something about success factors, SAP success factor solutions, you know, maybe employee central or onboarding 2.0 recruitment management learning management system so try to specify in a professional manner the summarized statement so that anyone who looks at that so so they can easily understand what is your profile is all about and try to mention the most important area education and one thing is when you learn something in sap try to have some kind of consistency you know most of the times what you know a lot of people who come from non scp background you know they they do their background their education is different the application they learn in uh, sap is going to be completely different but as for the best practices try to maintain the consistency suppose if i'm from mba hr it is always good to start you know uh, application which is in SAP having HR application like let us say cloud based HR application is success factors suppose you are from your education is let us say uh, finance if you're learning success factors there is no consistency so when you learn anything you know any application in SAP make sure that is having a consistency which is most important area that everyone should take care about it so while you are preparing your professional cv so make sure you also specify your education qualification and if in case if you have done any certifications maybe let us say you you have learned something about your success factors one of the application so if you are certified try to mention that as well that also gives you uh, you know professional way of building your cv in sap the another one is try to mention the uh, you know like if you have done anything like external uh, you know extra curricular activities or volunteering you know something like internship so these are all the areas that you should always try to specify when you prepare your SAP resume and uh, one more thing is mention your skill you know uh, let us say for example you you don't have any experience for example you have not worked anywhere but still whatever the application that you try to learn try to mention the skill so that uh, you know maybe as a, a fresher when you try so this may help you and try to connect your background to the job that you are applying so explain how your qualifications are relevant to the role that you are applying that is why here i said the same point consistency consistency matters and which is very very important and then share your few hobbies that whatever you have the another one is a format and the four uh, you know proof thread so make sure that your contact info prominent keep the content concise maximum two pages or uh, if it is less than that it is an ideal way of building your a resume in SAP so make sure that your resume is up to date and the recent one 
okay so when you prepare your resume please try to you know mention that whatever the skill that you learn and make sure that you are going to specify all these uh, you know tips all these points and remember one thing every point that you are going to mention in your resume you are aware about it if you are not sure sometimes one of the common mistake a lot of people uh, do is suppose i'm giving a sample resume you know you always try to copy and uh, edit your name and do it don't do that way the best way is try to make sure that every point that you mention in your resume you are aware about it you are fully aware about it whether you uh, you know uh, put it like one page or two pages you know you are aware about everything this is one common thing everyone should be aware if you don't follow that tomorrow when you go for an interview what happened so you are not even aware about your resume then how you will be able to know something what you're supposed to do so which is very very important and i'm sure these uh, tips will give you some idea before you start preparing your resume or how you should prepare your first sap professional cv so hope this gives you some idea some help for uh, the beginners so those who like it watch it and you can share it okay thank you all bye everyone